Hello everyone and welcome to Turkish Soap Opera. Today's advances from Bitterland concern one event in particular. An exciting episode full of unexpected twists. Keep watching this video and you will find out. But be warned, as it contains events that will happen later in the series. If you don't want to know the future storyline before it airs on network television, don't watch this video. Before starting, however, leave a nice like on trust, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss all the next videos. Finally leave a comment to share your emotions. Bahais goes to the factory to bring Fakeli, who is keeping an eye on deliveries, to bring him a cake. Bahais passing in front of the bakery thought she'd do something good by buying a cake for him and his workers. The man thanks her heartily and makes Bahais sit on a chair. The latter begins to talk about the factory and how surprised she is at its size and the large number of workers who work there. She is amazed because until now she had never saw a factory up close. Fakeli, however, imagines that she went there for a specific reason, but Bahais reveals that she didn't need to talk to Yilmaz or Mujgan because he has already thought about it, telling them how it was better to proceed, for everyone's good. Fakeli obviously points out that her child is her nephew and that she would do anything for him, but she insists on being told the real reason why she showed up there. Bahais at that point reassures him by telling him that she is not looking for her money but she reveals that she is worried about her nephew because she is now alone without any man by her side and she asks Fakeli to protect her. She also asks the man about the divorce terms and conditions. Fakeli asks her to be clearer and Bahais explains that she did not understand what belongs to Mujgan in a material sense, because it is known that Yilmaz will go straight to Zulia so everything Yilmaz has will belong to Zulia and Adnan. However, it has not been decided what will go to Mujgan and Little Karam and what will become of them since nothing has been registered to them. Fakeli does not hesitate to answer by saying that he will take care of his nephew. However Bahais makes an observation, in fact he thinks that Fikrit, considering that he will be the heir to everything when, one distant day, Fakeli will pass away, will not take care of Mujgan and Karam, because then faced with these situations, most become selfish thinking only of themselves and material goods. At this point Fakeli gets nervous about the woman's impudence and promptly reiterates that, as long as he is on this earth, they will have no problems, and before leaving this world he will ensure the good of both. Having said that Fakeli literally throws her out of the factory urging Bahais to get out of certain private situations. Bahais however, before leaving, brings out all her wickedness by pointing out to Fakeli that what she was trying to get for her nephew is a right thing and that Yilmaz is dead wrong in this story. Fakeli is obviously stunned by these statements. In the meantime Demur wants to ensure that the sign is posted in the hospital with the name of Zulia, however when he arrives the workers tell him that Mujgan does not agree very much, so he underlines to them that Mujgan has no say in the matter as he was the director himself wants it and continues threatening them that if he is not hung he will make them pay. At that moment Mujgan also arrives on the spot, and as soon as Demur sees her arrive, he doesn't hesitate to tell her not to allow herself to put her mouth in her affairs, otherwise he will make her pay. Mujgan reassures him but doesn't understand how he can still give importance to a woman who has abandoned him. But Demur in turn tells her that he still does not understand her hatred towards Zulia, then continues by saying that life goes on and that he has understood some things that he hopes she understands too. Mujgan does not stop there and assumes that Demur hopes for a return of Zulia, but the Yaman tells her that Zulia has never loved him, so she has never really been her woman. He also tells her that he tried everything to make her fall in love with him, and that perhaps seeing the love he had for her, he would fall in love with her in turn with her. Instead, he didn't succeed and for this reason he made many mistakes. The doctor asks him if he is willing to no longer have her by his side after all the love he has given her. Demur tells her that he doesn't give up on her but he definitely wants her to be happy and her happiness is not with him but with Yilmaz. She now she is divorcing her love of her life of hers to allow her to be free of her, because he only made her suffer by making her a prisoner and making her feel great pain, taking away her children and aiming them even a gun against her. Now she wants to remedy all this also because this feeling that as love cannot be forced and can no longer hinder it, it is useless because she has never loved him and will never love him. Mujgan at this point points out that Zulia, after the divorce will live forever with Yilmaz, 
trying to make him weigh it. But the Yaman immediately crushes her by saying that she can do nothing but accept his abandonment and that she should accept it too, because neither Yulmaz, nor Zulia, will ever stop loving each other, looking for each other and seeing each other secretly. So she too must understand that Yulmaz would never look at her with the same eyes with which she looks and admires Zulia. Demur confesses to her that the decision was tough, it's not easy to let go of someone you love. But this is the right decision to make for the good of everyone and above all of their respective children, so Mujgan urges her to look ahead. The following day is the moment of separation on both sides and Yilmaz after packing his bags goes to Karam to hug and kiss him. Meanwhile Mujgan and Bahais are very embarrassed, so Fakeli invites him to leave the villa to go to his new home. Yilmaz, however, would not want to leave her little one like this, but Fakeli reassures him by telling him that she can go to him when she wants without problems. At that point Yilmaz reiterates that he will go, every day because he wants him to feel abandoned. However, Mujgan feels touched and tells him that she is with her son and therefore will never be alone. Thus, ignoring Mujgan, Yilmaz greets them and once out of the house, gives another strong hug to Karam, promising never to abandon him. After that he hands it to Mujgan and gets into his car to reach his new house. Simultaneously, Demur is spending his last moments with Adnan while Zulia is with Layla. He talks to Adnan telling him that they will see each other every day and he will teach him a lot of things, such as how to use the phone so that he can call him. Zulia instead cries and tells Layla that he loves her a world and that they too they will see every day to play together. When Sevda arrives she tells them that Yilmaz is outside waiting for them, at which point Demur hugs little Adnan tightly. Zulia instead hugs Sinai and wishes her the best. She later greets Gaffer and Fadak. Demur breaks down in tears and hugs Adnan once more, after which he hands him to Yilmaz who puts him in the car. Zulia, before leaving the villa, thanks everyone and wishes them all the best. Soon after she reaches Demur again and picks up Layla to whom she weeps and says that she will never abandon her and that they will see each other every day. She then tries to ask Demur to give her custody back, but the Yaman begs her not to complicate things, so Zulia gives her a kiss and hands it to Demur to reach Yilmaz by car. The two leave while Demur with the baby in his arms looks at them without being able to hold back the tears. Zulia turns in turn and looks at them with pity, greeting little Layla. The previews end here, let us know what you think in the comments. If you liked this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and activate the notification bell so you don't miss the next videos. See you soon.